the new anointing water. How to use the new anointing water. With this precious gift, you can reach out to your loved ones anywhere they are, all around the world, without going there or touching them. Just take your phone, your laptop, or any other mobile device and give a call to your loved ones on the sickbed. Ask them to turn on their camera so that you can see them and they can see you. Now it is time to spray this new anointing water. Ask your loved ones to ask for God's mercy and forgiveness. After that, you can pray. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be delivered in Jesus' name. Be free in Jesus' name. Be rescued in Jesus' name. Take note. While spraying the new anointing water, you must have a good motive, a good intention. That is all you need, a good motive for salvation before you start spraying. And the person receiving must also have a good intention for the salvation of their soul so they can maintain the miracle they're about to receive. Remember, any time you make such a call, make sure you have a video record. This is for the glory of God. We look forward to receiving your testimonies. This is what you're about to see. Stay in faith. All this is because of social distancing. Happy New Year. Emmanuel, God with us. Because of social distancing, let us bring healing. Let us bring deliverance. Let us bring cure to our loved ones without going there or touching them. God can use any medium to express himself. Never a sickness, never an affliction, it cannot heal in Jesus' name. Never a problem, it cannot solve in Jesus' name. Never a burden, it cannot bear in Jesus' name. The new anointing water. My name is Fanny. I'm from Germany. On my side is my husband, Benjamin. He have a spine problem. He used the lumbar corset and because of the problem, what he have, and also because of the pies, what he have, he don't can lay down on the back side. Always also he bleeding. This is the, the medical report from my husband. This is one. This is also another one. This is the picture from my husband when he was in the hospital because of this pain problem from the spine. And uh, we want that the Lord heal him and touch him. My name is Benjamin Mendoza. I am from uh, Mexico, but I live here in Germany. I use the uh, lumbar cord cell because I cannot walk. I am a physiotherapist for profession and, and I cannot do nothing and I cannot work. And I will like that the Lord Jesus Christ heal me. The new anointing water. Here is the new anointing water for you. Never a sickness. Never an affliction, it cannot heal in Jesus' name. You are destined to be healed today in Jesus' name. And with just a mere spray, the anointing of God inside this bottle will bring about the cure in Jesus' name. Be free of any wrong in Jesus' name. Be free of any sin in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be delivered in Jesus' name. Be free from that sickness and affliction in Jesus' name. Be rescued in Jesus' name. Remember this man is from Germany? 
but distance is not a barrier. You are free in Jesus' name. Rise up from your bed of sickness because Lord has set you free through the medium of this new anointing water. Your mouth to receive a touch of this new anointing water. Be free of any sickness in your body, be delivered, be rescued in Jesus' name. This was the lumbar corset what my husband used before, but now he is free to the glory of God. He don't need this more, so we can put this away and the garbage. We are free, we are healed, and we are delivered and blessed in Jesus' name. I don't feel any pain. And I can see. I sleep like this, only like this, but now I don't feel any pain. I can lay down normal, and now I can get up very fast, normal, and I can walk normal. I feel strong. I can do some exercise. I can do this. This was difficult for me to make this. Now I can make some. Exercise on my shoulder. I do this. I can make this. On the moment when uh, the evangelist uh, ministered the, the anointing water, I feel something hot coming in my body, in my in my stomach, in my back, in my shoulder and I don't feel any pain now, and I feel very good. The new anointing water. This is my phone. If you have this new anointing water, genuinely, you too, can take your phone on your laptop and call your loved ones on the sick bed through a video call and pray with them. Advice to the viewers around the world is whatever sickness or diseases you have, this new anointing water you can spray on the phone to your loved ones how Emmanuel TV team spread on me and you will get healed. You don't need to be anointed because the butter is anointed already. Anyone can do this. You make sure you get the new anointing water in the genuine way. How you get it and the motif behind how you get it. It determines the healing and the deliverance in it. The Bible says freely we receive, freely we give. Don't let anyone deceive you. The shipping to get the anointing water to you is free. The anointing water itself is free. What else will you pay for? No effort to get it should be paid for. That is why it's anointed. Anything paid to get it Either the anointing water itself or the shipping means it is no longer anointed. Freely we receive, freely we give. Don't be duped in Jesus' name. Don't forget to record and send us the testimonies of what happens when you minister the new anointing water. Emmanuel, God with us. Happy New Year. My name is Aisha Nabanja.
I live in UK and I've been working as a healthcare assistant as well as a student nurse. I've been attending to the patient where I contracted COVID-19. It has caused me a lot of difficulty in breathing. I always get fever, I always get headache. It's hard to do anything when I'm walking along the stairs. I get so much tired and I feel I cannot breathe anymore. I always have body pains all over. I can't be able to do anything for myself. This is my medical report that was diagnosed by National Healthcare Services in the United Kingdom, which confirms that I'm COVID-19 positive. And I believe the Lord Jesus Christ will heal me. With just a mere spray, the anointing of God inside this bottle will bring the cure to your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Right now, be free of every wrong in Jesus' name. Be free of any wrong in Jesus' name. Be free of any sin in Jesus' name. Whatever virus in your system, be flushed out in Jesus' name. Vomit out that virus from your system in Jesus' name. Whatever is not of God in your system, whatever affliction of virus in your system, in your organs, be free in Jesus' name. Be free in Jesus' name. Be free in Jesus' name. Anything that is not of God, that virus that has afflicted your system, vomit it out in the name of Jesus Christ. Vomit it out in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is out of God will be flushed out of your system through the medium of this new anointing water in Jesus' name. This person is in far away UK, but distance is not a barrier to the move of God. Be free in Jesus' name. Be set free in Jesus' name. Remember that this person is in far away UK, United Kingdom, and just a mere spray of this new anointing water from Lagos, Nigeria. You can see what is happening in her life. Every atom of the virus has been flushed out and we can see what she has vomited. So right now you are free, you are delivered, and you are set free in Jesus' name. Rise up on your feet and share with us your testimony. Of what God has done in your life? In the chest, I don't feel something holding me in the chest. I can't breathe very well. Okay. I started reacting in my body. I felt like even the demons are, are reacting in my body, even the vomiting. So I realized that the distance is no barrier. I'm a new person, even the speaking is different. Thank you, Emmanuel TV, for this new anointing water. The new anointing water. I started watching Emmanuel TV and by the grace of God when I was watching I saw there was a new anointing water which was being released by Prophet T.B. Joshua. I live in UK. I contracted COVID-19 when I was working on the patients. I contacted the Emmanuel TV. They prayed for me through the video call. I got my healing. I can breathe very well. Before I used, breathing was so hard. I was always short of breath. Sleeping at night was so hard. Walking on the stairs, I could just grasp the air. It was so hard, but now I can do everything. The shoulders were painful, but now they are no longer painful. I can shake them very well. I'm so happy. I feel the joy of the joy in my heart. I advise anybody there, whoever has this new anointing water, please, you can do the same as they prayed for me. Or you can just call your loved ones, wherever they are. Whether they're in the sick bed or in the hospital, please, you can call them and administer this anointing water the way they, they did it to me. I'm free now. I can breathe my, I can breathe very well. Please try to contact and get this anointing water. But it's not for sale. People shouldn't trick you to sell it. It's not for sale. It's free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. The Bible says, freely we receive, freely we give. Don't let anyone deceive you. The shipping to get the anointing water to you is free. The anointing water itself is free. What else will you pay for? 
No effort to get it should be paid for. That is why it's anointed. Anything paid to get it, either the anointing water itself or the shipping, means it is no longer anointed. Freely we receive, freely we give. Don't be duped in Jesus' name. Don't forget to record and send us the testimonies of what happens when you minister the new anointing water. Emmanuel, God with us. Happy New Year. Greetings, 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 saints. I hope I find you well wherever you are. Well then, my name is Apostle Emma Panda. I hope I find you perfectly fine and well in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord continue to bless you and enlarge your territory. Listen, today we are continuing once again with our prayer marathon. This is day number eight. And I believe those who are <clears throat> moving with me in prayer, as I welcome everybody, I welcome you all who are joining us right now, those who are joining us in prayer. I just want to say you are welcome. God bless you. Thank you for being part of this stream. I believe and I understand that the Lord is going to beautify our lives. The Lord is going to change many things in our lives. This is the year 2021 and I pray and I believe that many of you will be touched by the anointing of God in our lives. We thank God because something definitely is about to change in our lives. I see that many things that um, has been happening in your life, it is because sometimes we were not aggressive. Sometimes we were not praying um, certain prayers. Remember, there are different types of prayers that we need to be praying. So during these 14 days of prayer and fasting, we pray today for breakthrough prayers. We want breakthrough prayers. Many of you want breakthrough prayers. Many of you are praying and saying, God, we want to have some breakthroughs. Like right now with me, uh, I have my own package here. I have my own package here. My package has come in. I hope you are seeing it. My package is here. This is my anointing sticker. You can actually see it. This is my anointing sticker. And um, also, this is the uh, anointing water. It's still in the box. It has not been opened. I hope you are seeing it clearly. It's still in the box. It has not been opened. And you can see it clearly. Um, I just collected it today. We shall be ministering it tomorrow. I pray and I believe that um, you will all be available. This is my faith bracelet. Um, I just want to thank God for, for that because something definitely is about to happen. Look, in our lives, we understand that if we are in Christ, we are new creatures. Yes, um, the behold, the old is passed away. But remember, there are certain things in your character that is not yet passed away. There are many things in your life that is not yet passed away. So I want to pray with you right now, wherever you are. Tomorrow, by God's grace, if God permits, I'll be ministering this directly to your screen. I'll be ministering this um, new anointing water uh, just believe the anointing here heals blesses saves in Jesus name so um, it does all those things so we want we will pray and uh, we will do that according to the instruction I think you saw the video about the instruction on how to minister this anointing so where you are watching if there is anyone sick where there's someone who is bound the moment when I minister it tomorrow it shall actually touch you distance is truly not a barrier so I just want to welcome everybody we have come in and I just want to say Imam to you because the Lord is about to, to change something in our own lives. The Lord is about to transform our lives as well. So we are going to get before the Lord right now and start to pray because we know that with prayer, all things are possible because when we pray, God hears our prayers. When we call unto him, he always answers us. We want to go before the Lord first of all and appreciate him for the good gift of life. We just want to say, Lord, thank you for everything that you've done, everything that you continue to do in our lives. We glorify your name for your protection. We thank you, Lord, for covering us with the blood of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for your mighty hand upon our lives. We know that there are many disappointments out there, but you are our strength. Father, we thank you because we cannot do anything without you. We need you in all things that we do because you are the source of our strength. Father, we thank you. We magnify your name because without you, Lord, we could not be 
here right now. Therefore, take all the glory, take all the adoration. Who is like unto thee, Almighty God? Who is like unto thee, Ancient of Days? You are mighty, you are glorious. We give you all the praise, honor, and adoration for allowing us to come before you in this present moment. We thank you for allowing us, O oh Lord, to be right now in your presence. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Father, we give you all the praise, honor, and adoration. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. We want to go before the Lord once again and we want to cancel any form of negotiation that we had with evil or demonic covenants because our breakthroughs are bound by some things that we did in our foundation. Some of our breakthroughs are bound because of our foundations. Maybe we made a covenant or a connection with people that we were not supposed to connect to. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we refuse to turn back at the edge of victory. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Many of you have turned back at the edge of your breakthrough. At the edge of your victory, you turn back. As I pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ, first of all, I cancel every covenant, every demonic covenant that we did in the past that is affecting our present, every satanic covenant covenant that we made knowingly or unknowingly that is affecting our present that is affecting our destiny that is affecting our destinies that is affecting our blessings we cancel it by fire in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ lord arise and destroy the wicked doors of the enemy arise oh lord and destroy the wickedness of the wicked we come before you lord we come before you father we come before you ancient of days Play, praying, oh Lord, for you to touch our lives in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We refuse, oh Lord, we refuse, oh Lord, to turn back at the edge of our breakthrough. That demonic force that is making us not to reach to our point of breakthrough. We cancel it by fire in the name of Jesus. We cancel it by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. You near success syndrome. Wherever you are, I command you to catch fire. You success, you, you near success syndrome. Wherever you are in our lives, I command you right now to come out in the name of Jesus Christ. I dry up every plant of the enemy. I dry up every activities of darkness. I dry up everything that has been seen upon our lives that is not good. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus, Jesus. I release the anointing of God upon each and every one that is listening to me right now. Every yoke must be broken. Yokes of limitation, yokes of stagnation, yokes of delay, yokes of backwardness in the name of Jesus. That demonic force that has been saying you cannot make it in life, I tell it right now, it's a liar. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you. We glorify your name. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. All spiritual problems that are attached or waiting for you this year, in the month of February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Everything that the enemy has programmed for you, every demonic attack that has been out programmed for you, we are praying to the Lord God Most High, the one that says in, his, in the prayer that he gave us, he said, lead us not into temptation. We don't want to fall into the trap of the enemy. We want the Lord to lead us. We want the Lord to guide us. Any trap the enemy has set for you in 20 2021, that trap, it will, they will fall into their own trap. They will fall into their own grave. They will fall into their own orchestration. Whatever weapon they have fashioned against you, it shall destroy your enemies. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I release confusion right now. In the kingdom of darkness, I release confusion right now. In many demonic and satanic covens. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus, oh Lord, arise this hour. Whatever altar, whatever calabash they are using now to call our names. I command those things to catch fire. Let them be broken into pieces. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus, Lord, we release the power in the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Whatever that is not of God, may it be uprooted. That demonic force at the knee, at the edge of our breakthrough, we command you right now to loose and let us go. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in La Brosha di Kata. If Daniel knew that his prayers were held by the prince of Persia. He could have actually changed the way he was praying by that time. He continued to pray thinking that heaven is not responding. But the time he set his heart to pray, heaven responded. So in other words, many things we think heaven has ignored us. 
But I'm here to tell you that there is a God in heaven who answereth all prayers. God said in his word, call unto me and I'll answer thee. And I'll show you great and mighty things that you know with not. I'm here to pray for somebody today. And I want to cancel everything, every negativity upon your life. I'm here to cancel every negativity upon your life. Every, every negativity upon your life, I command it right now to be broken in the name of Jesus. I speak right now into your spirit and into your life. You are not a failure, you are a success. You are not a failure, you are a success. You are not a failure, you are a success. Every monitoring spirit that has been monitoring your life, every monitoring spirit that has been monitoring your progress, every monitoring spirit that has been monitoring you all around, I command that monitoring spirit right now to be blinded in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Lord, arise this moment and arise this hour in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Wow. You see, many people don't understand this. When we are talking about deliverance, if somebody is to be delivered, it doesn't mean all the time you are going to be manifesting. There are some people, there are demons which manifest, but there are some demons which don't manifest. There's a demon of poverty. It might not manifest in a person when the person might, is, 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 is being prayed for. It might not manifest. The demon that um, is there in your character, it's now like part of your character. The deliverance part is when you are free from such oppression. You don't know what is oppressing you. What is it that is making things not to work in your life? It is a demonic oppression. What is it that is making your life not to move forward? It is a demonic oppression. So there is deliverance that is needed there. You need to be set free. All right. Apostle, what are you saying? I looked into the scripture in the book of Exodus and I saw in the scripture that um, Moses took the children of Israel out of Egypt. That was deliverance. It's called Moses the Deliverer. They did not manifest. They just walked out. They just moved out. The battle was just between uh, Pharaoh and uh, Moses. The children of Israel just moved out without a scratch, without anything. They even came out of that place loaded. They did not come out empty-handed. They came out loaded. So I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. As you are being delivered right now, as you are being delivered from that situation, you are not going to go home empty-handed. You are not to you are not allowed to move in this year 2021 empty-handed. I want to welcome everybody that is coming in. I just want to say welcome to you. Um Elien Edembe, uh Kanyunyuzi, um Immaculate, uh, Severiano, Miguel, Gavet, Galo, uh Ninoni, Omabowe, Jimmy Vincent, um who is this one? Um uh, Esther Nyana Koza, uh, Katrina Kativu, uh, Kaviju, eh, Kaviju, Nyson Matsikili, uh, Ramson Abraham, Vian Zungu, uh, Akelo Dokas. Oh, yo, there are many, there are many, there are many, there are many, there are many. But anyway, I pray and I believe that the Lord is going to bless each and every one of you and enlarge your territory. As we are praying the last two prayers, I want you to understand this. Let's cancel all former negotiations, all former things that we did that are making us to be bound in certain covenants in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. This year, 2021, may you be spiritually awake in the name of Jesus. May you be spiritually awake in the name of Jesus. May you be spiritually awake in the name of Jesus Christ. This year is your year. Let there be a spiritual awakening in your life, in your family, in the name of Jesus. Let there be a supernatural increase in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we give you all the praise, honor, and adoration for everything that is. Sorry for that. Sorry for that. Sorry for that. I just wanted to uh, play something for you so that you can see it. Um, so may the Lord bless you, people of God. May the Lord continue to shine upon your life. My pony Tadia saying hallelujah. Zimasa Chuma Osakwe, you are watching with us. So listen to me, people of God. Anything that has been following you, anything that is negative that has been following your life, anything that has been negative that has been following your children, tomorrow as we minister this uh, new one in order to each and every one of you, as we are ministering it, there are prayers that we are going to pray. It won't, wait, it won't take much time. The moment when we minister it on the screen, it shall get to where you are and there shall be transformation in your life and there shall be changes in your life and there shall be many things that will be happening and many shall testify. That is the instruction that we were given by the prophet that if we do that, um, because distance is not a bar barrier, social distancing cannot actually stop the hand of God from touching your life. So therefore, we know and we understand 
that God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ever imagine or think about. So people of God, I want us to make the last two prayers. Lord, everything that has been assigned to my hands, everything that has been assigned to be mine, everything that has been assigned to be in my destiny, I command those things to come and locate me today in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Any destiny hijacker, any demonic hijacker, any demonic manipulator that has been trying to make me to lose my focus, I command it right now to be uprooted in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, arise this hour and this moment. Let your power and let your anointing continue to speak. You see, there's too much anointing. You see, this anointed material, they carry much anointing. This is highly anointed. The anointing is on another level. So wherever you are right now, be free. Wherever you are right now, be free. I want you to be free. I want you to be free from every satanic oppression. I want you to be free. I want you to be free. I want you to be free in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for everything that you've done. Thank you, Lord, because our breakthroughs are coming. We know exactly that when they come to our lives, our territories will be enlarged. We know that everything that you have designed for us, everything that you have planned for us, they, it shall surely manifest. We pray for the finisher's anointing. As we are starting with you, Lord, we shall end with you. We pray for this this finisher's anointing. Let the finisher's anointing be upon our lives. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, let the finisher's anointing be upon our lives. In the name of Jesus, perfection is our portion. Favor is our portion. Everything that is good is our portion. Wickedness is not our portion. In the name of our Lord Jesus, arise, O Lord, and destroy the wickedness of the wicked. Arise, O Lord, and let all our enemies be scattered. The Bible says when an enemy comes in in one way, he will flee in seven directions. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, today the enemy shall flee. In seven directions, the enemy shall flee. In all ways, the enemy shall flee. By fire, the enemy shall flee. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, those who could not sleep well, I pray right now, after today, you shall be able to sleep well. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, those who could not actually have good association with others, I pray right now, after today, Day you shall be able to communicate with others effectively in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who carry gifts and they don't know how to use their gifts, after today you shall be able to use what you are having and it shall make you to sit with kings in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you. We glorify your name. We magnify you for everything that you have done and what you are about to do in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. People of God, like I say to you, distance is not a barrier. I don't, I don't have a problem. If I'm already committed communicating with you right now on this line. I pray and I believe that fear must not be your portion. Disappointment must not be your portion. Delay must not be your portion. Everything that is not good must not be your portion. I want you to focus on the things of God. I want you to put your attention. There are too many disappointments out there. There are many things that are discouraging us. Many people are losing their jobs. Many people are being abused in the houses. Many people are being killed around. When you look at the news, there are many things that are not bring joy to our soul. So therefore, that's why I am saying to you, as we pray, as we go before the Lord, what we want to seek is the peace of the Lord. When the peace of the Lord is upon us, when the peace of the Lord is within us, we, I'm telling you, we cannot be shaken. When the peace of the Lord encompass us, many might throw arrows, but we know that the battle is not ours. This is God's battle. Wherever you are, understand that this is God's battle. Whatever that is going to be happening, remember this is God's battle. Because God is about to do something in many people's lives and I want you to believe. Start to believe before you see. Start to believe before you see. Many people, ah, oh, Ethlin, Ethlin, you are saying, I'm watching from Saudi Arabia, uh, Riyadi. Uh, good evening, Apostle. Uh, good evening, Ethlin, Eth Ethlin. Uh, hallelujah. Taposa, you are saying glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, Thomas, you are saying glory be to God and the Son and the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Apostle, you are saying, uh, Apostle, Lube Ben, you're saying, uh, hallelujah. Uh, Taposa, you're saying, I connect for my healing in Jesus' mighty name. I connect uh, to the grace of uh, of God upon my spiritual father, Prophet Shabbat Bushiri, in Jesus' mighty name. May his grace help me to start my ministry too and help me for financial stability. Okay, Apostle, you are the son, you are the son of Major One. God bless you. Um, 
who is this one? The effectual fervent prayers of a righteous availeth much. My goodness, this is what the Williams definitely they availeth much. As we pray, something has to happen. As we pray, something has to change. As we pray, something has to actually get uh, trans- trans- transformed in our life. Something has something has to be transformed. Tomorrow we shall be uh, doing what we call. Um, spiritual eye opening hey we shall be dealing with our spiritual eyes we shall be dealing with spiritual eyes i want you to get the spirit of discernment so that wherever you go whatever you do that spirit of discernment must be upon you that veil that the enemy has put upon your life that you fall into wrong mistakes you fall into things that are not right we command those things to be uprooted in jesus mighty name so bless you people tomorrow don't forget we shall be ministering this i i i told you this is this is highly anointed, people of God. This is highly anointed. My goodness. There's too much power here. There's too much grace. Um, these things are anointed. These anointed materials, they are highly anointed. So we are going to minister this. We just want to thank the, um, uh, the Lord for allowing the senior prophet to actually take time in prayer because um, we all give thanks to God for using us in different ways and we must not take pride of it we must actually thank God once again for continuously using us even this time that I'm using to pray for you remember this thing is not for sale this packet is not for sale the anointed water is not for sale the, the new anointing water is not for sale the sticker is not for sale um, those things are for free so even if I'm ministering to you don't pay me for it it's just administration to you and that is it there is nothing that, um, that is uh, to be paid for. Uh, so just put that into mind, please. Don't go to my inbox and say, how much is it? I'm not selling anything because I was only given the one that I must minister to others. So that's what we are going to be doing. So may the Lord continue to bless you and enlarge your territory. People of God, let me sign out. Father, we thank you. Father, we glorify your name. We appreciate you, Lord, for everything that you've done and what you're about to do. Thank you for answering our prayers. Thank you, Lord, for showing us grace and mercy in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for uprooting doubt and fear out of our lives. In the name of our Lord Jesus, honor and glory belongs to you. Power belongs to you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. My point lady is saying, oh Lord, help me uh, to awaken spirit, my spiritual life in Jesus' name. It shall be awakened in Jesus' name. Rosina Ponzo is joining. Itumene Mohali is here. I want to say welcome to you in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you, people of God. Please let me sign out. I just want to see um, uh, Mr. President, what is he has in store for us. So let me just sign out and let me leave you. I believe and I understand that the Lord is going to bless you indeed and enlarge your territory. Let me sign out. My name is Apostle Emma Panda. Shalom. Jesus is Lord forever.